Saturday Night Online. Ladies and gentlemen, please, please welcome live to the Saturday Night Online studio. Tegan and Sarah, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for stopping by to talk to us tonight. Thank you for having us. We're so excited. Absolutely. We're live on the radio, coast to coast, 115 cities representing. People have just been calling and texting and emailing. <laughs> they, they tweet, they Skype. A lot of tweets today, I saw. And yes, yep. a lot of them. Trending globally right now. Thank you guys for that. Cool. Always God, love seeing great. that. Hashtag Saturday Night Online. Mm-hmm. So you guys, man, congratulations on the success of Closer. Thank you. Yeah, it's mean, been a really, uh, it's been a long year so far, it feels like, but it's been really great. Uh, it seems like it's, uh, it seems like it's going really good from where we stand. So we're really happy and excited and so grateful to everyone who's buying the song and likes it. And every time you get in a car, it's on the radio. Yeah. And we're in cars <laughs> a lot. It's like annoying. We're like, stop that Tegan and Sarah track right now. Do you now. still get the same feeling as the first time you heard it on the radio? I actually think I'm more excited now when I hear it just because I know that it's not a one-time thing like I think it's right. sort of we've in all of our I mean a lot of people probably don't know this but we've actually been touring professionally for 14 years and this is the first time we've really had a track blow up like this on yep. the radio so we're kind of living the dream that a lot of people experience at the beginning of their career sure. well into our career so hard work pays off see That's it does right. Yeah. just right stick with it people 14 years and you can be <laughs> successful too and in that time um, seven albums mm-hmm. seven albums with, yeah. with heartthrob being the latest yeah. yeah featuring closer and this one you know what really got your name out there was all, all the other celebs that are huge fans it's of true. you guys. We, pay, we had to pay all those girls. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor Swift and Katy yeah. Perry. We're like, and... We were negotiating with Taylor Swift. We're like, Tegan, <laughs> you can have her firstborn. You can have my secondborn. Um, no, the girls that have been, like Taylor Swift and Katy Perry really kicked us off with this record. Um, they were they were tweeting about it and it, it really did seem to sort of propel us into the mainstream, at least the, the dialogue that was happening in the mainstream about, about the song. And so for that, we're really grateful. Tegan and Sarah, our guests tonight, you can see them live in the Ustream cameras. You can wave right over here to get your chat questions in and coming up next we're going to get to all those fan questions but first let's play the song one more time i know you're not tired of it yet <laughs> do it this is closer it's saturday night online with tegan and sarah all i want to get is a little bit closer saturday night online your favorite celebs your questions their answers. Yep, Tegan and Sarah joining us live in studio right now, Saturday Night Online. Give it up for Tegan and Sarah, ladies and gentlemen. So we've been bombarded with questions all week from your fans from all over the world. You guys are international. I mean, I know you're from Canada, but not, it's not North America. It's everywhere. Yeah. There was a couple different um, uh, avakias in there. <laughs> yeah. there's, a, there's a bunch of those. Um, I'm going to start from the phones. Paul called us at 1-800-242-0100. Wants to know, what's the last piece of clothing you bought? I actually just bought new shoes today. Oh, kicks. Yeah, I did. Okay. Well, it was more of a dress shoe, uh, okay. a, ma- a man's dress shoe that I found in my size. Um, and here in New York City, I just I did I popped into a couple stores earlier today, and I got a new pair of shoes. There you go, Paul. Allison texted in at 55100, wants to know, how are you girls going to prepare for the Parahoy cruise? The Paramore cruise? Yeah, yeah, that is the cruise we're doing with Paramore. I'm being, At this point, it's just like definitely working out a lot more <laughs> and scouring the internet for a bathing suit that looks cool and not weird and, and old person-y, but probably something that covers a lot more of the body than I normally Oh, just would. get another tattoo. Yeah, I guess I could, but I don't know. I mean, I was actually just hanging out with Paramore. I saw them play um, in Vancouver. They're on a big tour right now in America, and it was an amazing show, and everyone should go see it. But uh, I also told them about my fear and anxiety around this whole Paramore. Is, is Haley going to wear a bathing suit? Yeah, they don't. They're all like, what? <laughs> bathing suits are cool. We're on a cruise. Do what you want. And I was all like, yeah, I'm going to just wear my jacket, if that's okay. <laughs> just uh, get some jorts, you know? I'm not concerned. Like, I, I feel like I've, I'm, I'm totally comfortable with my body. I always feel like with this whole new technology, like, I feel like there's going to just be iPhones everywhere, and someone's going to accidentally Instagram me in a bathing suit. And like, <laughs> on the fun tour, we opened for fun all summer, someone snapped a photo of me wearing shorts during sound check, and it, like, started, like, almost, like, it like it was, like, an international crisis. People were like, <laughs> we must get this photo. More angles. Did anyone else capture Tegan in the shorts? So, I just feel anxiety. All right, Allison, there it is. At Ocean Eye tweeted us and wants to know, what do you find yourselves thinking about if your minds ever drift on stage? Oh, my God. The, 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 the answers are endless. About, yeah. uh, sometimes it's, like, the most boring stuff. I mean, I'll think to myself, like, what am I going to watch later? You know, what did I eat today? Terrible. Why are you Have I paid that? my rent? <laughs> you know, like, just really boring stuff. But the magic, the most most of the time, the magic happens, and you're sort of like, I mean, this is going to sound really cheesy, but most of the time when I'm on stage, I'm sort of in a different world. You know, I just, yeah. I love playing the songs. I love connecting with the audience. So if, if things start to sneak into my brain, I try to get out of that mode. All right, Mason Facebooked us and wants to know, what is the one thing you have to bring with you on tour? 
I mean, besides a bathing suit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and weights to get in shape. Um, you know, I think that the big thing for me has been having my iPod, like just having like tons of television, tons of movies, tons of music, staying inspired and, and staying distracted. Distracted <laughs> is like a big part of tour. There's a lot of sitting around, a lot of killing time. So you got to be, you got to be entertained. At Cammy Berry tweeted, wants to know, after performing with Macklemore and Ryan Lewis, do you think you'll ever do a collaboration with them? Oh, I would love to. I mean, yeah, they're great. I think they're out doing their big U.S. tour right now, but I mean, they they, they know our digits if they want to ask here. us. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Stacy hit us up with a text message to 55100, wants to know, what is it like working so closely with your sister and how often do you fight? You know, we don't fight as much as we used to, but like we ha instead now we just have circular conversations that increase in intensity until we get bored and we just stop talking to each other for an hour or two. Um, but we definitely had some intense friction at the start of our career. I think when most people went off to university, we were in a band in a car next to each yeah. other. So we have a lot of independence at the beginning, but I think we've carved out a lot of space for ourselves and so we don't fight as much you as we used to. You probably get asked that question more than you fight. I think so. At this yes. point, probably, yeah. It's gotta be a common one, right? We talk about our fighting more than we actually. Yeah. Fight. All things Definitely. considered, all things considered, we get we get along pretty well. All right. Ariana skyped us uh, to Saturday Night Online Live. She wants to know what is the one song right now that comes on the radio that you sing at the top of your lungs. Oh, this is hard. Well. Uh, wrecking Ball, Miley Cyrus. Miley, yes. I love her. I love her. And that is, that's an anthem. You got to, like, you have to I sing that loud. it's a smash. It's so yeah. good. I, I totally love it. I, I'm I'm stoked on that record. It's cool. What about you, Tegan? Yeah, I, I mean, Miley's cool. I like that um, Drake song, like the... Hold On, We're Going Home. Yeah, Hold On, yeah. We're Going Home. I really yeah, like cool. that. That one's sexy. Hold On, We're Going Home. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is sexy, actually. I would have never said it. We said it first, so I'll uh, say it back at you. Hey, Drake. <laughs> You know the digits. Hey, Drake, you're super sexy. <laughs> Call us. Drake's got our digits as well. So, yeah. Macklemore, Ryan Lewis, uh, Drake. <laughs> At Maddie Mang tweeted and wants to know, what's been the most memorable or impactful moment of your career so far? That's really hard because we've been around for so long. So, it, it, it really depends. Currently, like with this record, I think the, the Taylor Swift uh, moment we went on stage with her in, in Los Angeles and sang Closer. And she's fantastic. Her audience was fantastic. And that was a that was a big moment. We got a lot of lot of action online. Um, it was really cool. Well, you, you forgot to mention the whole Grammy Award nomination. That was very cool. We <laughs> that we think of that as being more like last year, so okay. we're kind of we're kind of we're over we're it. Just over kidding, it? I'm kidding. <laughs> if the Grammy people are listening, I'm just kidding. Give us more. We love it. Heartthrob is in stores right now. Everybody be loving closer. What is next for Tegan and Sarah? Uh, well, our plan is to tour all of next year. So, and, and hopefully after Closer has finished its climb to wh whatever position it will climb to, we'll hopefully get a, a chance at releasing a second single and, and, and winning more people over and showing them the rest of the record. It's a pretty diverse record. And I think there's, in Canada, for instance, where things move a little quicker, we're already onto a third single. Oh, really? So, yeah, and people are really starting to recognize it's like, a, I think it's a really uh, versatile record. And so our big thing we'll be spending the next year headlining in America and, and traveling to some new countries and, and supporting Heartthrob. Awesome. Can you guys hang out and answer some more questions offline? We of would course. love to. All right, Tegan and Sarah right here live on Saturday Night Online. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Woo!